Or do you see two? Do you see one? Or do you see two? How many do you see? I see two. Hello, I'm Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy, and this project is called One or Two. This is an introduction to the concept that numbers can be used to identify quantities. Numbers do not always represent quantities. Think of a student's bus route or address or phone number, but in this case they do, and they tell how many. The placement of the pictures alternate. Sometimes one is on the left, sometimes on the right. And when there's two objects, sometimes the one on the left zooms towards you first. Sometimes the one on the right zooms towards you first. This was done to make sure that students are actually learning one or two and not left or right. One. Do you see one? Or do you see two? This project was a great opportunity to let the music teach the concept. When you see one object, you hear one chord. When you see two objects, you hear two chords. Two. That was the drum video. Now we're going to take a look at the guitar video. This part of the song is the chorus, and each chorus shows and sings one, two, one, two, and there are four choruses per song. This is the verse of the song that can change between one and two, and in the regular versions of the videos, I tell you how many I see, and in the fill in the blank versions, this is where the student tells you how many they see. In activities where students only have two possible answers, in this case one or two, I've found a tendency to guess because, hey, 50% of the time you're going to be right. Two. That answer was two. At this point, your student may already be planning to guess one for the next attempt because I've also found that students, when given two choices, tend to alternate between answers every guess. Looks like this time the strategy worked, the answer is one, but next time it's not gonna work, the answer is gonna be one again. This project consists of five videos. So four answers per video, all possible distributions of our two answers, one and two. The piano video has four ones, the guitar video has three ones and one two, the drum video has two ones and two twos. The violin video has one one and three twos. And the tuba video has four twos. Make sense? Do you see one? What I'm saying is you have a lot of options to make sure your student is actually learning the skill instead of just memorizing a pattern. Or do you see? Here we're watching one of the fill-in-the-blank versions where it's your student's turn to answer. So they'll begin with the sentence starter, I see, followed by either one or two. I made a conscious decision not to use verbal counting because when people see two of something, they just say two. They don't go one, two. When I tried verbal counting in the song, what I got was the answer, I see one, two. So if you're gonna prompt your student, I'd refrain from doing any verbal counting of the objects. 
So included with the project are five regular videos, five fill-in-the-blank videos, five regular songs, five fill-in-the-blank songs, and printable visuals you can use with the songs. So now instead of a video, we're going to move away from the computer screen and switch to a song. You can use flashcards of the instruments you just saw in a video. Since the songs don't name the instruments, you can switch to different instrument flashcards. Instead of pictures, you can use objects. Here I have some maracas I can shake to the beat. Or you can use something besides instruments. Here I have some oatmeal cream pies. Once again, I'm Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy. And this was one or two. Thank you for watching.